It was the early 1980s. The name Neutron Jack made people shiver. He wasn't a serial killer or a brutal dictator. He was the CEO of General Electric, a man named Jack Welch. He had a famous strategy. Every year, he would fire 10% of his employees. It was an absolute bloodbath. So they called him Neutron Jack. For Americans, it was unheard of. The 60s and 70s were the era of job security. But here you had a man firing employees at random. In fact, Welch fired one out of every four GE employees between 1980 to 1985. A total of 250,000 employees lost their jobs in his tenure. And what did he have to say? Well, he had no remorse. In fact, he lauded this method. He called it cutting out the fat and keeping the company lean. Those were his words. CEOs of today may not be as brash, but they're proving to be no different from Neutron Jack. 2023 saw a massive wave of layoffs. In the tech industry alone, 240,000 people lost their jobs. 2024 is off to a brutal start, which means more layoffs could come. So why are companies cutting so many jobs and are mass layoffs the new normal? Hello and welcome, I'm Palki Sharma and this is Between the Lines. In 2010, Google was on a roll. Co-founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page had grown a mammoth company. But at the heart of it, they had a philosophy, putting employees first. So that Christmas, they made an announcement, a 10% raise for all employees, a generous double annual bonus, and a $1,000 Christmas gift. Now these people were already being paid very well, but Google wanted to appreciate them more. 14 years later, the company may look the same, but the appreciation seems to have run out. A decade ago, it put employees first. Today, it's laying off thousands of people. This week, CEO Sundar Pichai had an ominous warning. Expect more layoffs. That's what he said. In 2023, Google cut 12,000 jobs. That's almost 6% of the workforce. Senior leaders, upper management, employees who've been at the company since the start, everyone lost their jobs. And now Pichai says there is more to come. At the start of 2024, Google cut 1,000 jobs. Why? Pichai says it's about removing layers to simplify execution. Clearly, he used better wording, but the idea is the same as Neutron Jack, trimming the fat. The word layoff was coined in the 1880s. It meant rest or relaxation then. But there's nothing relaxing about it now. And Google is not the only one laying off people. Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, X, that is former Twitter, Yahoo, Zoom, Cognizant, Citibank, Disney, Ford, Nike, Indian companies like Baiju's and Paytm, they've all fired people. More than 30% of companies globally chose layoffs in 2023, and there are a few reasons for it. One is a record hiring spree during the pandemic. When COVID struck, people were locked in their homes. They relied more on technology and tech companies took this as a cue to expand. They hired more workers. They made more investments. They treated it as the new normal. But then the world opened up and those hirings did not translate into gains. Those extra workers were no longer needed. So resizing became the need of the hour. And companies did just that. Interestingly, the most affected department was HR or human resources. It made up for 28% of all layoffs, an indication that companies want to cut back on recruitment. Then there's the volatile global economy. Will there be a recession? Will higher inflation persist? Questions like these haunt companies and they arrive at one solution, cost cutting. Finally, there's the rise of new technology, artificial intelligence. Companies are automating systems. What people did before, AI does now. So will machines replace people? Well, that is the big question. And in some industries, they already have. Does that make mass layoffs the new normal? When tech companies grew in the 2010s, they were all about perks, massage parlors, free buffets, cereal bars, jungle gyms, paying employees to go skiing, live performances by pop stars, you name it, and the companies had it. It was all about keeping employees happy. That was the philosophy. But things have changed in the last couple of years. And not because companies are doing badly. 
It's because they're chasing bigger profits and bracing for the imminent tech disruption. Take Alphabet, for example, the parent company of Google. Its growth is slower, but Alphabet is not operating at a loss. In the last quarter of 2023, Alphabet recorded profits of over $19 billion. In 2022, it made around $14 billion in the last quarter. So profits have risen. Plus, Alphabet has $116 billion in the walls. That is in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities. So it's not as if the company was doing badly or running at a loss. It was more about changing the way they function. And do you know who were the first people to be fired? 27 in-house massage therapists. I guess on-site massages are no longer trendy. Plus, companies now want to focus on winning products. When Alphabet grew, it had many divisions. There were new products everywhere, and the focus was divided. Google now wants to change that, and it's the same story with a lot of companies. They want to cancel the perks, cut the frills, drop the products that are not working, and prepare for the AI churn. Employees are still being paid well in most cases, but there will be no nap rooms in office. Of course, for those laid off, it's a different story altogether. It could be minor restructuring for the company, but for employees, it changes their life. They have families to feed, homes to maintain, and bills to pay. 78% of Americans live from paycheck to paycheck, so they may not have a financial buffer. Also, it's difficult to get hired when you're unemployed. Your choices are fewer, and you tend to be forced to make compromises. Plus, losing your job can be traumatic. In fact, it ranks among the top 10 most stressful life events. And it has an impact on health, too. The odds of developing a disease increase by 83% between 15 and 18 months of being laid off. The risk of suicide may increase by nearly three times. So layoffs can be headlines or mere statistics for many of us. But these are actual human beings caught in the eye of the storm and their numbers look set to grow. This year has begun on an ominous note. Google laid off hundreds of employees. Most of them were working on their voice assistant. Amazon laid off a few hundred people. This was in the Prime Video and MGM Studios. Language app Duolingo laid off 10% of its contractors. It cited artificial intelligence as the reason. Streaming platform Twitch cut jobs. It fired around 500 people. Citibank is cutting 20,000 jobs. It gives you a sense of deja vu. This is how it started in 2023. So will this year be just as bad? Experts say it may be less brutal. 2023 was an exception. Since then, the job market has steadied, consumer habits have stabilized, so layoffs may not be as bad. But there could be random resizing, like the ones I just told you about. Companies could make smaller cuts. They call it streamlining. But as of now, it's unlikely to turn into a layoff fest. Having said that, we live in a very uncertain world. And with headlines like these, employees would find it hard to rest easy. After all, no one likes to be locked out of emails or become a number in the next layoff headline.